Good afternoon. It's Thursday, November 17th, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Ernerberry Market Report, sponsored today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. Today, Foodmarket.com is reporting that the National Restaurant Association estimates that 14 million Americans will visit a restaurant for a Thanksgiving meal this year. And an additional 16 million will use restaurant takeout to supplement a meal at their own or someone else's home. In addition, 32 million Americans are expected to dine out while shopping on Black Friday, according to new research by the association. The new research also shows that convenience is the primary reason for making restaurants part of Thanksgiving celebrations. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, head to foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. For this week's eggs processed under federal inspection report, here's Terrence Wells. Eggs processed under federal inspection totaled 1,417,306 cases for the week ending November 12th. The number of cases broken is up 4% from the previous week and also up 8% from the same week last year. The cumulative total year to date remains up 1%. 762,105 cases were broken in line this week, representing 60.7% of the total break. Retail demand has picked up, but is not yet meeting expectations. Inventories have been building since late October, and with less than expected needed, more are forcing eggs into breaking channels. This is especially the case in the jumbo category, as some held onto flocks for an extended period in an attempt to take advantage of historical market run-ups. This situation has forced our ranges in all breaking stock categories lower and is now putting pressure on the liquid markets. I'm Terrence Wells with your eggs processed under federal inspection report. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Terrence. Talking turkey processors continue to pack against existing fresh commitments in their rigorous attempts to get their turkeys onto the retail shelves and finalize Thanksgiving-oriented shipments. Offerings of frozen toms and hens on the spot market are limited, with most current vocalized offerings originating at distributive points of sale. Our quotations are well maintained overall. All bone in breasts are rated steady to full steady. Inventories of breast meat are modest and haven't caused any sellers to offer lower prices on their limited stocks. Fresh meat is somewhat unsettled as seasonable influences come into play. And thigh meat moves through November in a hands off manner at fully maintained levels. Now here's Russ Barton with an inside look at Erner Berry's poultry report. The chicken market as a whole is relatively well positioned at the moment. Most items are presented in tight supply in the wake of continued industry cutbacks and plant closings prior to the holiday. The eggs set and chicks placed were down 5% and 8% respectively this week. Looking at our chart, we review the latest export figures for frozen leg quarters. Dark meats have been rather flat as of late, and this is not out of the ordinary for this time of year, but these items have been assisted by decent export business. Here, we look at a comparison of the total leg quarter exports from 2010 and 2011. The total from this year is currently 7% below 2010's tally. When taking into consideration the fact that Russia's quota decreased yet again this year, this decline does not seem all that bad. Taking up the slack of the former Soviet Union's business has been countries in areas such as East Asia, Southeast Asia, Central America, and South America. These alternative avenues, along with the consistent industry cutbacks, have kept frozen leg quarter prices flat in a time when they are typically falling off the charts. I'm Russ Barton with this week's Poultry Report. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Russ. Moving over to red meats in the box beef market, the bulk of choice ribs, top butts of all grades, as well as ground beef, continue to be key performers for beef processors, and asking prices were advanced once again. Choice cutout values are at historically high levels, with support derived from curtailed production and decent seasonal demand. In the boneless beef market, undertones for the fresh 50s are steady to weaker this morning. Certain delivery dates surrounding the holiday are reportedly being heavily discounted. Fresh 90s are rated steady to firmer. The imported beef markets are quiet with very little occurring this morning that would affect a change in our quotes. Offering levels are within our listings and bidding activity is light. In the pork market, trade at direct markets is anticipated steady to possibly weaker again today. Producers continue ample offerings of hogs and buying interest has yet to show equal strength. Hams are called steady to possibly mixed as lighter weights remain supported by tight supplies. Bellies are expected steady, while trimmings are seen steady to weaker from pressure brought on by continuous strong production. Loin meat remains under pressure this morning given a diminished call. And offerings on butts vary by seller, and a wide range of trade is expected to develop. 
Spare ribs remain fully supported. That wraps up Burner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at ePoultry.com.